Right, welcome back. Let's discuss the exterior angle of a triangle. Right, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. Right, which one is the exterior angle here? It will be B2. It's an exterior angle because it is the angle outside the triangle. B1 is an interior angle. Angle A is an interior angle. And angle C is also an interior angle. And then angle B2 is outside the triangle, so it's referred to as what? Is the exterior angle of a triangle. How do we form an exterior angle? We just extend one of the sides. We can extend like this. Then we form an exterior angle. We can even extend this one like this and form an exterior angle. Even if we do it like this, still forming, we're still forming an exterior angle like this. You see that? B2 here is the exterior angle we're going to be referring to. But the theorem says the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. Our exterior angle we have said is B2. So it means angle B2 is equal to what? To the sum of the two interior opposite. Right, let's talk about B1. B1 is adjacent. It's adjacent to B2. B1 is adjacent to B2. And then the interior opposite angles are these ones. It's angle A and angle C. So these are the interior opposite angles. So B2 is equal to angle A plus angle C. And then the reason you write, you will say exterior angle of triangle. That's the reason you write there. We can prove it the same way we prove the interior angles of a triangle. We can construct a line parallel to AC. Let's call it BE. And then if we measure this angle, we may find that it's 50 degrees. And then we measure this angle, we find that it is 70 degrees. And then this angle, 50 degrees, and this angle here, these are corresponding angles. You see that because we say these are parallel. So these are corresponding angles, meaning that this angle is 50 degrees. And then this angle, we use different symbols here for this. Right. And then this angle, 70 degrees, is equal to this angle here because they are alternate angles. You see that? So the whole angle B2 is 50 plus 70, which is just the same as the 50 plus 70 there. So that's why you say exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. The other thing you can do, we can say that angle B2 and angle B1 are adjacent angles in a straight line. So you can say B1 plus B2 is equal to 180 degrees. Adjacent angles on a straight line. Right? And then angle B1, angle B1 plus angle A plus angle C is also equal to 180 degrees because this is sum of angles in triangle. Right. Now, since this is equal to 180 degrees, then this is equal to 180 degrees. We can equate this and say angle B1 plus angle B2 is equal to angle B1 plus angle A plus angle C. Okay, because both they are what? They are equal to 180 degrees. And then if we subtract B1, angle B1 from both sides, we remain with angle B2 is equal to angle A plus angle C. You see, we have proved that angle B2 is equal to angle A plus angle C. Remember that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. Don't forget the reason.